Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Ben Sawmill. Today I'm going to show you how we built this dresser. This is just a set of drawers that we made from wood that we ran off the sawmill. Now it's all pine, ran off of a pine tree that was cut up and stacked out in the yard for roughly six, seven months, let out there to dry. And because it's pine and it's only inch thick, it didn't take long for it to dry enough that we could use it. In one of my other videos, I show how I took these boards from rough cut lumber, took and ran them through the planer, planed them down, ran them through the joiner to square them up, and ran them through the router with a tongue and groove bit to make them all tongue and groove. So both these sides and this bottom here are tongue and groove, glued together, and left dry overnight. And then we cut them down to the right height. That's the presser is about six foot tall and about three feet wide. Now I'm showing you here as I left a three quarter inch gap on the bottom and on the top that's where a three quarter inch piece of plywood is going to go on the back. This one inch square piece here that I was pointing to and the pieces across the top just showing you how that's keeping it square, keeping the sides straight and it keeps it all in line so that everything is together and held square for the glue to dry. This is just the first step in the process of making this dresser. This is just setting it up overnight like this just to get a start here, we got the two sides, the bottom, and just some pieces to hold the top in together. Now here I have the pieces that I'm going to run across between my drawers. And what I did was I took that pocket hole jig and drilled holes in each piece, top and bottom. So that way when I put it on there, I just put the screws in and that will hold it on there. And you'll never see any of the screws because the drawers will come up against the face of it. What I did was I measured down here about 8 inches, exactly 8 inches, and then I had a 2 inch piece for these boards, and then another 8 inches, and another 2, and another 8, and another 2. It's going to have 6 drawers total on here. So I have 6 8 inch drawers, and 2 inch pieces of wood will go between each drawer. Now like I said, the back here we're going to add a piece of plywood and on the top and bottom will be nailed there. When it comes around the other side here, I put a 2 inch piece across the top and that's just there for a face board. And then there's going to be this piece here is going to go down the side and that way it's just going to be like a picture frame. You have a 2 inch piece across the top and down each side and then a 2 inch piece between each drawer all the way down. The next phase of this project here you can see I have the back on and the fronts on. So the back, the three quarter inch plywood is just a piece of three quarter inch birch plywood. Now I went with a heavier piece of plywood here because most of the stuff that you buy at the store has that thin particle board backing and every time somebody pushes something in the back or you have a piece of clothing or something come over the top of one of the drawers or you know moving the dresser around the back falls out of it and you have problems this thing is going to be structurally sound we're not going to have any problems I ran a two inch piece of wood down the side on the inside and screwed it into the sides so that way the, the plywood on the back comes up against both sides the top and the bottom and everything's brad nailed from the back and it's wood glued in as well so that way everything when the glue dries this dresser will be strong as a ton of bricks. It's not going to go anywhere. You're not going to have any movement with it. It's not going to flex. It's not going to bow. It's not going to fall apart. It's going to be structurally sound. You can see the two side pieces there. Now this jig here I have is set up for pocket holes. It's just going to be a piece for the front. This is, I ran a two inch piece in the back to hold the back and the two inch piece in the front is just going to be there to help support the face board running down the front. You can see I have the board on the bottom there, and the board on the side is just going to butt to that and run right up the side and butt to the top piece that's across there too. And then the pocket holes will be drilled from the side out through and hold the face on. That way there's no nails or screws or anything that you can see from the front. Everything will be screwed in from the back side. You can see the dresser is starting to take shape now. You can see where each of the drawers is going to go. The face is all done, the sides are done, the back is done, the bottom's done. This piece here is going to be the top. All I did was take, the dresser's 36 inches wide and I want about an inch overhang on each side. So it's 38 inch wide top and I have an inch overhang on the front. It's a 20 inch deep dresser so it's going to be a 21 inch, 21 inches by 38 inch top. And then you'll see here. 
I made all the drawers out of plywood. Took the plywood, the drawers are 20 inches deep, 30 inches across, and 7 and 3 quarter inches high. And all they are is plywood. You see some of the extra plywood laying there. Just took the plywood and just a simple box. Laid the bottom in, put the sides, just butted them together, glued everything, and brad nailed them so that once the glue dries, these drawers won't be going anywhere. I didn't get fancy and make any dovetail joints or anything like that, but for my purposes, this dresser is just going to be in my house. It's nothing fancy, it's just something that you know makes sense to have and not have to go pay for it. You can see here that the faces on these are the pine board so I made the whole box for the drawer out of plywood and then just put the wood face on the front and screwed them from the inside of the drawer out took the boards and ran them through a router so that you have a half round face on the front and put the top on the top has a same thing a quarter inch router joint all the way around the top to give that a nice finish nice look there you can see the tongue and groove from the top on the ends. You don't have to do tongue and groove just for the record. I did tongue and groove just because I wanted to try it just to see how it would turn out. Just something to experiment with and something to play with, something to try. Put the uh, slides in. The slides, all you have to do is just set the drawer in there. I have 7 3 quarter inch drawer in an 8 inch gap. So there's about an eighth inch of clearance top and bottom. Set the drawer in there, put the slides in. You have to make sure the slides are level and square with each other and square with the drawer. Lay the drawer in there, screw the sides on, and it's just a simple install for the slides. You can see here, you can see the screws in the face there where I screwed from the inside out through to hold the face on the drawer. So when I first put the drawers in, there was no face on them. It was just a plywood square box and it would sit in and recessed into the, the housing just a little bit. And then once you put the face on and you close it, the face comes up tight against the side of the dresser. I am going to install knobs on this yet. I have yet to do that, but that's just going to be a simple drill through and put a, a wood knob on the front of it. I'm going to have two knobs on each drawer for a handle to pull the drawer open and close. All I have left to do from this point is sand it down, sand the top, sand the sides, and just overall just sand the project down, install the drawer handles, and put a finish on this set of drawers and it will be done. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's not really an instructional how-to. It's just showing you how I did it and just kind of uh, something from my own personal record too just so that I can look back on and say, you remember when we built that? Yeah, you know give you something to look back on and say okay something that you did and you did it yourself from a log to a finished dresser kind of impressed that you know we were able to do this and it's just something to show you that you can do anything you put your mind to i hope you enjoyed the video subscribe for more and be sure to check out my other videos to show how i cut the wood from the logs thanks for watching